this is going to be a patient that has a cardiac tumor, which is going to present as systemic symptoms, fever and weight loss, and they are going to have this ball valve effect. This is going to be where there's a tumor that is going to be in the left atrium that plops down into the mitral valve annulus, and that is going to reduce the amount of preload. If you have reduced preload, less stroke volume. If you have less stroke volume, you get less cardiac output. So this is very characteristic of an atrial myxoma. And an atrial myxoma is going to have a mucopolysaccharide stroma with vessel proliferation. That is going to be different than a rhabdomyoma. A rhabdomyoma is going to be associated with answer choice B. Rhabdomyomas is tuberous sclerosis associated. And remember, atrial myxomas have this very loose myxomatous stroma, and there's going to be cytokines such as IL-1 or TNF-alpha. And that's why you can get that fever low-grade in those patients.